Tracking coronavirus for you tonight in North Campbell County on the edge of the Kentucky border is Jellicoe, Tennessee, an impoverished community. Its elderly residents have been hit hard by the coronavirus because it's not safe for them to leave their homes. As WAT 6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare now shows you the area agency on aging is making sure older residents have enough to eat. That's right, Bo. Today, a van full of food made its monthly run to Jellicoe. What we saw were dozens of people waiting for the vehicle to arrive, and when it did, they were so grateful to receive the food. When the truck from Second Harvest Food Bank arrived in Jacksboro shortly after 9 a.m., it took about half an hour to unload more than 100 boxes of food from the big vehicle and then pack the heavy boxes of perishable and non-perishable items into the Senior Meal Connect van. The food will be given to people over the age of 60 who live on a limited income. So we meet here on the third Wednesday of every month. We pick that because normally toward the end of the month, that's when the elderly, the folks, tend to run short on food. They've got a watermelon, they've got potatoes, cucumbers. The clients are very excited to get the fruits and vegetables. A lot of them um, are not able to purchase those due to them being so expensive. Here's what's inside a box of non-perishables. This month they're going to be getting some coffee, some cornflakes. They always get the uh, milk, the shelf life milk that they, once they open, they can put in the refrigerator. After a 40-minute trip north to Jellicoe, six six volunteers from Magnolia Terrace and Jellicoe Housing Authority unload the food and begin distributing it. This will be one of several stops today in the hard-hit Campbell County community of 1,500 people. There's nothing here for anybody to do, no restaurants, no nothing. So when this vehicle comes with all this food... It, it puts a smile on everybody, everybody's faces because... They know that they're going to have something for a couple days to eat. This is really a, a good thing for them. They look forward to it coming. It, sometimes it'll last them through the rest of the month. It's very important to them. Many of those served here today lived on fixed incomes from $800 to $1,200 a month. For those who receive the food, they're grateful because their tight budgets are stretched. This uh, helps us out for about two weeks at a time. And we don't know what we would do without them. We have more money to spend on household stuff if we don't have to buy the groceries. Everybody's afraid to get out and go to the stores. And so seeing the Senior Meal Connect truck come, it's a blessing for all of us. Now, Senior Meal Connect is sponsored by local and state dollars from the Area Agency on Aging and the East Tennessee Human Resource Agency, ETHRA. That van has been making trips to Jellicoe and to Magnolia Terrace for years, but now with COVID-19, delivery of the food is made even more important. We watched just a segment of this service today. Several other stops were made, providing food to even more grateful people.